Trying to get the camera right. All right. I forgot who I was going to do this reading for. Pisces. Uh, let's see. I already shuffled the cards. I just forgot. Pisces. Yeah. All right, Pisces. I already shuffled the cards for you. I'm dealing with four decks here at one time. So let's see what the energies. Try to focus. You're dealing with water, earth, and Leo. Okay, I'm going to read these to you. Flowing, cleansing, and healing. The energy of water refreshes and moves gently. Spiritual renewal. Forgiveness. The need to connect. To understand and be understood. Intimacy and creative expression ride the currents of water. It can wash away the detritus of life, making everything feel fresh and new. Bring the quality of water to a situation by opening your heart, speaking the truth with kindness and compassion, encouraging connections, expressing forgiveness, and healing wherever and whatever you can. Earth. Stable and secure and abundant, the energy of Earth nurtures life and promotes long, leisurely pleasures. The things we need, the things we want, and the material and temporal things that we value are expressed here. The acquiring and distribution of resources is at the center of Earth's energy. Bring the quality of Earth to a situation through a generosity of your material goods, resources, and time. The Earth is slow and sure, so take an unhurried, calm approach. Avoid sudden or unexpected actions. Create a calm place in the center of chaotic energy. You may be dealing with a Leo, or you may be having the energy of a Leo. The passionate energy of fire gives life to the fixed focus quality and says, remember your sovereignty. Express your natural leadership qualities. This is no time to be shy, but instead accept the spotlight. The key phrase, I will, says it all. Your will shall be done, because you will make it happen. Ask yourself, how can I shine? Gather all your courage and confidence and create your reality. Leo, gen Leo energy is all about the confidence and taking your rightful place as king of the jungle, but you are not really the boss of anyone else, and you are not infallible. Avoid arrogance. So, Pisces, I see you doing good things. Moving forward in a productive way. Just be sure to avoid arrogance. Let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck for you. The bottom of the deck is the two st staffs and the upright. Oh, I almost shuffled up. Spirit done reprimanded me on that one time already. <laughs> yeah, the king of cups in reverse. Death. The page of coins. The queen of cups. The empress in reverse. And the sun in reverse. The king of coins in reverse. The star in the upright, and the page of swords in the upright. Let me get two for the overall spirit. Let me get two for the overall. Yep. Okie dokie. Eight of coins in reverse. Ugh. And the lovers. Okay. Let me get this out and read these reversals here. This King of Cups in reverse. Isn't that the King of Cups? Yeah. A dishonest male, deceptive, lack of integrity, not to be trusted.
right, so what we have here is a work situation. Apparently you're a manager somewhere is what I see. You're a manager somewhere and you have hired a young male to work in your store. I'm going to say it's some kind of a store. And he is at the cash register. He is at everything. And this sucker has got more hands than anybody you have ever seen. I mean, he is stealing left and right. Okay? And he's taking everything. Look at all them hands. Look at all them hands. <laughs> I mean, he is work. He is he's he's stealing everything. He's stealing uh, cigarettes from behind the counter. He's stealing. What do I see? He's stealing clothes. Some kind of clothes. He's still a lot of stuff. So you have something hanging up out there that's got some kind of clothes on it. I see some money symbols and it's green and white. And maybe some headbands or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm seeing him I'm seeing him stealing a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And I see in one month's time you will find it out. But, you know, I'm telling you it now. <laughs> so you know before one month's time. Okay. Now for another Pisces. See a father son relationship. The father wants the child to. All the child is thinking about is what he wants. I want this. I want that. I want the other. I want more money. I need this. I need that. My car needs new rims. My stereo needs new speakers. And the, the father's trying to get the child out of that. Trying to teach him that that is not a way to be. Not a way to do things. And he's telling him by... You see your mother over here? She saves money buying groceries. She saves money doing everything of this, that, and the other. She doesn't even buy for herself. Maybe that's the reason why you're so spoiled. Is she gave you everything all your life. Is what I'm seeing. Him telling the child. Which is, in the end, going to make this child upset that his father was talking in this way. He's not going to understand for a few years. Okay. And I also see another Pisces. You've been in this marriage for a very long time, and you have a son. An arrogant son. You're worried about his future as he goes forward, as he's spending your money. He does not work. He's spending your money and just throwing it out everywhere. I don't believe if you're not in a marriage, if you haven't been in a marriage and have this son, you have a relationship, a, a boyfriend, lover, fiance, and him and your son is teenage. You have a teenage son is not getting along. They're not getting along at all. <sighs> yeah. 
Your son does not want him fathering you. Fathering you. Fathering him. Your son does not want your boyfriend fathering him. And he may leave lead out leave out on his own to face the world. After a very emotional breakdown. You're telling him to get a job. He doesn't have a job. And I don't know where he thinks he's going. Not having no job. Give me one on that eight of pentacles in reverse. One on that eight of pentacles in reverse. And then give me one on that lover's card. Eight of Pentacles, five of coins, yep. Yeah. And six of swords. Yeah, so you may get mad at your boyfriend for saying for I don't know they're having a dispute between them and you get you get mad. I see both of them leaving. You know there may be several of y'all with situations like this. So one of the situations is the boyfriend leaves. The boyfriend leaves. And then the other situation, after a bout of emotion, the about emotion, the child leaves and you're upset about it. Yeah, you're upset about it. They've spent all your money. They're not working. It's almost like your child's a spoiled little brat. I'm sorry for saying that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I have one just like it. <laughs> but it's a female. <laughs> but she's only four, so. Oh. She's probably going to be that way when she gets a teenager, too. Mm -hmm. So you're losing your relationship, possibly, because of your child that's a teenager that's about ready. It, you know, it, they're old enough to get a job, but they're not working. They're just spending your money, causing you to go broke. You're going to lose your lover, or you're going to lose your child. Because they're fighting. How do you keep this from happening? Hey, you talk to your lover and tell him your son's having a moment. Walk away, let him go through the moment. Everybody has to have their tower moment. And your son's going to have a tower moment too. Just like everybody else. I mean, this tower's not here. But this is not his reading. This is your reading. Everybody has a tower moment. And your son's going to have a tower moment. And I'm also seeing that when he leave, your son leaves home, that he's going to go out and he's going to get someone pregnant. This is going to bring on his work strive mode. You have to push them out there to do it on their own.
Yeah, the girl's getting pregnant by him on purpose. So she can get him to work and give her money. It's right there. There's the snake. There's the child. It will be a little girl. Child's a spoiled brat. Just like mine. She's spoiled too. I am seeing you having to direct him after the child is born and the mother is revealed to be a snake. I'm but you by that time you have had you've gotten a few funds up. Not a lot, but a few funds up. And you will be directing your child in what to do. If the lover leaves the boyfriend release, I do not see him coming back. You may have had this happen quite often of them not being able to be with you in a relationship because of your child your, your them wanting to be adult and oh, getting on to your child and you not putting up with it because it's your child I can see both point of views Oh, Lord. I see possibly your son getting two women pregnant. Two girls pregnant. Not just one, but two. With the children only being a few months apart. Pisces, you have the strength of a lion over your child, for sure. Get your child to get a career. Really needs a career. Let me get you an angel card. Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. And the next one is commitment in reverse. Went to the eye doctor yesterday and get me some new glasses because I can't see with these. Can't see without them and I can't see with them. It's ridiculous. It's in reverse. Go it down, dog. Some kind of separation or break in a contract may be at hand. It could be a total severing of ties, like a divorce or jobless. Or it could be less intense, such as temporary separation or layoff. This card could also indicate an investment that fails or a home purchase or sale that falls through. Whatever shape it takes, there is an emotional component that underlies the experience. It will be important to vent your feelings and deal with the sense of loss. But try not to think too catastrophically. The loss or separation may seem difficult now, but you do have the power to deal with it and get back on your feet again. 
Sometimes this energy indicates a physical separation. You may have to travel or relocate for business or personal reasons. In this or any other kind of physical and emotional distance, make sure you retain some balance in your life. Also, consider this. Have you forgotten your own priority of self? Do you put yourself last and dismiss your own needs? If so, it's time to start committing to yourself. Try not to lose sight of the greatest partnership of all. Your connection to the all eternal, powerful, and valuable self that is your soul. Your spirit is longing for you to commit. Yeah, that was something else I seen was you possibly losing your job. I couldn't really tell if it was you or your child since your child was moneyless and spending all your money. But yeah. I see you pushing on and moving through it and finding a new job. If that's what it is in losing your job. I'm not really worried about a relationship. Oh. Be careful signing any contracts. As in, it seems like you're already broke from losing a job and your son squandering all your funds away. I gotta go check on mine. She's banging around in there like she's building new walls. And she's only four, so. She may have actually went through a wall. <laughs> Blessings to you. 